everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls, and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning July 1st, 2024. Happy 4th of July if you are in the United States. So as we get into this, I am going to be following the format that I did last week, where we're going to do a general reading. Okay, that is the basis of your reading. Then I'm going to channel and see what three colors are coming up. Each one of those colors resonates with a certain archangel. So you tune into the color, skip ahead to that portion for the additional part of your message, and you will see what archangel you could be working with for what you're going through right now. Okay, so we're going to do it that way. Quick update on offerings, things that I'm offering right now. Live readings are not always going to be offered. If you notice and you follow me on my community tab, I'm not always posting about live readings. When they're available, I go in, I let you know. Pretty quickly after I put that up, there's no more time, okay? So keep that in mind. Right now I am scheduling out for the week. If you wanna get a live session over Zoom, angelsouls444 at gmail.com, send me an email, we'll work that out. I am still doing courses and I can fit in a couple of courses this week if you wanna do connecting with your angels, how to work with a specific archangel, and just keep in mind, this is one-on-one -on -one training. So I go through this with you and I'm tuning in as you are practicing how to connect with your guardian angels or how to connect with a certain archangel so I can help you tweak it right there in the moment. I don't think people understand that. Like I've been an angel medium for a very long time. So <laughs> those courses, uh, it, it depends on what you want, but usually it's not just me lecturing to you. It's interactive. You can actually sit with me and I'll tune into your energy field and help you come past any blocks. Sometimes that's the case, or if you're trying too hard, whatever the thing is, we work through it right there in real time. Now, I'm also still teaching angel mediumship. And for some clients, I will be teaching how to access the Akashic records, but that's not going to be available to everybody because I don't know, I didn't make the rules. Okay, okay. So email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com if you want to schedule one of those not live readings, uh, standard readings, <laughs> sorry, standard readings, you just go to my website, angelsouls444.com. As of the recording of this, people seem to really care about how long they're going to be waiting. As of the recording of this, it should be one to two days. Now, if you don't get in right away, that is not going to be the case. Okay, so just keep that in mind. All right, there's all that stuff out of the way. See what's going on for this week. Happy birthday to my nephew Cody, by the way. His birthday's on the second. <laughs> so if you can all give like a little shout out to Cody, I would appreciate that. Okay, I'm seeing the energy of Gabriel coming up. But in this, it's weird because it's kind of this take charge energy so huh. Gabriel is thought to resonate with the sacral chakra as well as the throat chakra so in this case it's feeling more like the sacral chakra so it's going to look different for a lot of people yes you can glean quite a bit from this reading right here nothing wrong with that but again if you want to go deeper and you want something actually tailored to you your personal angelic message then you'd have to get one of those services okay but yeah, overall, there's this feeling of getting things done, um, sort of, and I'm hearing tackling, like, <laughs> and I think they're bringing that word through because that's how we would see it. We're tackling things that have been kind of open on our plate. Some people are going to be doing, you know, because we just got past the first half of the year, you're going to be doing some whatever bookkeeping, paperwork, maybe even taxes around that. Yeah. I like this energy. There could be people who want to oppose you this week, but there is just, why do I like this so much? It kind of has, <laughs> it has the feeling of, oh, I ain't dealing with you. You know, <laughs> like we're not, we're not doing this. You know, um, somebody that maybe you're always concerned of what they think or feel of you about you. Uh, and you're just like, I don't have time for this. I have beautiful things to create. Very creative week. Uh, Gabriel uh, oversees conception. Okay, so be careful if you're not wanting to conceive. 
uh, for others of you, <laughs> this would be conceiving a new idea and, and helping craft the next chapter of your soul's contract. Everyone's different, all right? And it depends on, you know, how much time and effort you're putting into things. I don't know if that's going to pick up. My AC just kicked on. I forgot to turn it off. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> so it's going to depend on your personal soul contract. Angelic readings are different because it really is a lot of soul contract reading and guiding you and helping you get through certain themes on your soul's contract. This could be ancestral patterns that are being broken. They really help out the lighted souls, right? The ones that are here to temper the darkness. And so this can be a tough gig for you to incarnate into, right? So these angels and archangels are here watching over us and tuning in to what that deep messaging is at this time of your life can help you get through those tough lessons to help you remember divine love so that you can be charged up. Now that's a big one for a lot of people who are on that lighted soul path. You need to be clearing things out, clearing out your energy field, clearing away other people's stuff even. And as I said, charging up, getting charged up. Now I'm smiling a little bit. <laughs> I had the cards down. I don't think you saw that. They were down here. This card was just kind of shuffling like this. And this card flipped around. So here we go. It's the star. It's the number is 17. So we can in angel numbers, which is very much correlated to numerology, slight differences, but uh, you can take the one and the seven. The seven is archangelic help. The one is being focused for the self, self-care. I'm generalizing here because it's a general reading, but you can always come and ask about, you know, number sequences if those are what you're seeing. But the, the one and the seven, we would make that an eight. You're figuring out how to get off of a bad cycle and get into a good cycle, right? You're getting into the flow and harmony of your purpose, making the most of this life, being abundant, figuring out how to bring that forward, okay? And that would be Archangel Gabriel helping with that a little bit too. But on this card, it's the star, Archangel Jophiel, higher wisdom, the crown chakra, beauty. Rediscovering the actual definition of what beauty is. All right, it, it's nice, right? A dream come true, believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. So new month, new energy, here we go. This is a lot of healing. It's getting rid of some emotional turmoil. Remember I was saying Gabriel is helping us with that, the sacral chakra. We can be storing our emotions there, but the sacral chakra also helps with abundance and manifestation. So something's breaking loose here. Now, when you break something loose, it doesn't automatically turn over and become something great. <laughs> there could be, I'm hearing cleanup crew. You might be acting like the cleanup crew around some emotional situation. But there's some deep healing. For some of you, this is body image. Always check with an expert if you're dealing with something psychological. Always get with a therapist, a professional. Do not use spirituality as a replacement for psychological help or medical help. This is just meant to be the spiritual take on those situations. Yes? Okay. So this, for some of you, this is body image. And you're coming into uh, a healthier way of seeing yourselves. Okay. Healing money too. I'm telling you, this is uh, some some good's gonna. <laughs> it's about to go off. Okay, so here we have leap of faith. It's zero. So when we have zero, that's a refresh, a restart. You're clearing away. I'm telling you, a lot of you who are watching this video right now, listen. Start a new chapter here. Oh, I love it. I love it for you. Okay. <laughs> so this is leap of faith, Archangel Metatron. Talk about getting charged up. That trunk can help with that, okay? Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. Man, when I tell you y'all are out here going, I'm just fed up. I'm fed up with being told I'm wrong. I'm fed up with, you know, getting thrown into something and someone is conniving, manipulative, whatever. We're getting sick of the tricks of the darkness. I'm tired of it. And what's interesting is now time is not linear outside of this realm, right? So angels don't really go by that. And yet they're here to help us ego beings, our third dimensional ego consciousness way of thinking, 
don't know if we can say they're kind of trained or they're built for understanding it, although they don't embody it themselves. So they don't have an ego, but they know how to communicate with us to get past the ego. That's why I always say angels give us codes, signs. I have a whole video, signs from angels, number codes and all that. It's the most popular video I have on my channel. So it's right on the front page. You can go check that out. But they try to bypass the ego to help us experience the message. Because when you're not just thinking about it or trying to put it into, you know, some sort of intellectual context, you, you're not limited. Okay, you're not limited in what messaging is coming through. You can experience it through your whole being. I hope that makes sense. Okay, but with this leap of faith, this is a lot of you out there. One chapter is ending. You're starting something new. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. <laughs> Leave your comments down below. Share this with other people if you think that they would like to hear this, okay? Ace of Michael, a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. This is cutting through the nonsense and saying, I'm not holding back my success anymore. And maybe for you, that is a surface level success. But this is also, I'm not going to carry that pain with me. I'm not going to carry that trauma with me. I'm not going to let those effects take more of my energy. Or, you know, this says clear up communication problems. If you know you're dealing with a certain personality type and that person pulls something and you set a boundary and they say, whoa, 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 we need to talk about this. Now, societal brainwashing, I said what I said, societal brainwashing would say, oh, come on, be fair. Let them tell their side of the story. You do not, if someone pulls something with you and it's harmful to you, depends on the situation, I suppose. But in most cases, if someone knows that they're being manipulative and you set a boundary and they say, wait a minute, I get to tell my side of the story. No, you're just opening yourself up for more energy drain, more light drain. And the more your light is drained, the more something dark can take up residency. We'll talk about that here in just a second. But when, when you allow them that chance to kind of mess with you more, yeah, a lot of people are going to be like, whoa, you're not being very fair. Or you're being, you know, dramatic or they'll put all kind of judgment around it. But you know what you're made of and you know what you need to do and you know what kind of energy that person possesses. Okay. So it's okay to say, no, I'm not going to go into further debate with you whatever. Let's talk really quickly here about energy sacrifice. I can make a whole video on this, but I think I did. Did I? I don't know. I've made so many videos. <laughs> if we don't know about this, I'm going to give a quick treatment to it here. We can make a whole video on it later on if you comment down below and you want the whole video. But um, energy sacrifice, you know, this is where you're hearing horrific things happening to children that takes their innocence. Having to do with the sacral chakra. That's life force energy. And so when people feed and, and they do that by harming people, and then, you know, especially if you've experienced some bit of trauma, your energy dips, your frequency goes down, your light, there's not enough light, I don't know how to put this, I, there's not enough light to sort of scare away the darkness, I guess. <laughs> so uh, they can come on in and that's where you see people who have certain personality types. No, it's not who that person really is, but that is the energy that's animating them. So no, don't think that you're going to, especially a lot of you watching this, you're empathetic. You're like, hey, I, I pick up on the good in someone. I want to nurture that. I can save him. No, <laughs> that it's in God's hands now. Okay. It's up to the good little baby Jesus. Okay. Like step off. Okay. You, you weren't built for that. Cause if you were, you wouldn't be in a human body. Lay off. You've got your duties. Let God handle the rest. Okay. But um, yeah, there's a lot of that going around and wanting. That's why children are such... Um, I gotta be careful what I've already said a couple of words here that could get me shut down. Um, so, you know, I don't want to say, I don't want to say get the focus on children, right? That's where that comes from. I, I almost see the personality types as being infected. And once they're infected, this is the zombie apocalypse, y'all. We're in it, okay? Because once they're infected, their whole job and what they're sort of programmed to do is infect other people. 
That's where you get the Machiavellian person who just destroys you. And then your energy is low. Darkness can come in. Okay. So you're healing from that. Number one, you're reclaiming. A lot of people are reclaiming their light. That doesn't mean that the darkness goes away because there's this other side of it where darkness will try to feed off the light. That's another type of personality that doesn't want to make their own light. So they feed off of yours until you're depleted. Yes. All that's getting healed here. Anyway, <laughs> Five of Ariel, you're going to feel a little bit sad because I think you're having to unplug and walk away from something. So let me explain this. This is the Five of Ariel. You needn't go through your current challenges alone. Help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. Now that is the typical interpretation of this card. But what I always see, I see someone striking out on their own. I see someone leaving an institution behind. I see a person going out in the cold and taking their chances rather than being indoctrinated. That's what I see in this. And yeah, it can be scary. And yeah, it can be very isolating. But what would you rather have? Feeling a little lonely, like when you're going to dinner or something, or dealing with someone's flat out abuse and manipulation and dealing with the... I don't like to say that word, but the opposite of a lighted angel, right? You, you know, you know what those are. Uh, that's what a lot of people have within them to varying degrees, to varying degrees. If someone is pretty occupied, you'll know it because they're just, they're just terrible people. Like they, somebody who has a little bit of darkness influence, those are the people who, They'll hijack your plans. Like you're like, hey, let's the couple of us or three of us go out and have coffee. And they take those plans and they invite everybody because they need a lot of energy around them to feel adored. Or, you know, you say, hey, let's go here. And they change the plan. Well, we're going to go here because it's what I want. That self-centeredness, thinking that their presence is a gift to everyone and getting you convinced that if I don't like you, then somehow the whole the whole world's going to turn against you. I don't know. Like these people have this thing. That's somebody who's being influenced by that dark, we're just calling it dark energy. Someone who is constantly plotting, gathering information, they are fully infected. Okay. Some of them to lesser degrees, maybe like a quarter of the way infected by that darkness. Some of them have been completely taken over by that. Again, it varies from person to person. But you're figuring this out. You're walking away from something. Again, striking out on your own. I keep hearing that too. Striking out on your own. All right, get an extra card here. Revelation. Okay, well, look at that. That reminds me of a sunrise. Now you could see, let's see if I can hold still here long enough for you to kind of interpret that for yourself and see what's jumping out at you in the imagery. But I see a sun rising and it's rising out of darkness. I think collectively we're saying enough. And I know some of you, especially in the United States, I guess all over the world. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, <laughs> us Americans are over here going, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. Uh, you know what I'm talking about here. <laughs> but like, if you got really political, and I was just saying this to somebody the other day, we need to be careful with that. Because this is where politics start to become a cult. If you get so polarized in your opinions if, if politics are your whole identity, you're no longer human. Guess what you just did? You lowered your frequency and now what's going to happen? Now, as I say that, if you're like, yeah, I totally know the, the opposite side. They've lowered their energy so much so that one person could get to them and brainwash them. You just, you're just proving my point, okay? <laughs> like, why does your brain immediately go to politics? Do you not understand what a divisive thing that is? Do you not understand that that is meant to tear us apart and tear us down? Divided we fall? You didn't get that. Haven't we been talking about that? Are you new here? Hello, welcome. Okay, but uh, okay, that's all I'm going to say. There's the general, <laughs> before I get myself in too much trouble, there's the general part of the message. Let me just take a moment here. I'm going to tune in. Let's see what three colors we're going to. Just going to put it out to, to the Archangel. So I'm seeing this like pearly white color. <sighs> I 
So like an iridescent pearl, we'll just call it that. I see a bright yellow again. Okay, <laughs> so we'll talk about that. Mm, and we have a deep pink color, a deep pink. So sit, see what color you're kind of drawn in by. If you are a very masculine person and you're like, those are all girl colors, goodbye. No, don't, don't go anywhere. You need this, okay? You name me specifically, <laughs> we'll help each other out, okay? It doesn't matter, okay? These are not feminine colors, so whatever, just pick one, okay? Jeez, all right, anyway, <laughs> let's get on to the people who chose Pearl. Now, Pearl, I am feeling is associated with Haniel. Haniel can also have the frequency of like an ivory color, but some people do uh, associate that pearly white color with Gabriel as well. So we've already discussed Gabriel. So go back and watch the first part of, of this video that all pertains, okay? But Haniel, Haniel's in charge of the divine feminine. And please remember, we have divine feminine and masculine in every single one of us. When we incarnate into a duality consciousness, we, we typically polarize those energies and explore what it is to carry feminine energy or you know divine masculine energy, whatever the case may be. But Haniel helps with balancing, bring yes, I'm hearing incorporating more of the divine feminine aspect into our day-to-day -day lives. So if you're one of those like <laughs> super masculine types and you're like, fine, Michelle, I chose Pearl, okay? <laughs> you are going to be learning uh, in addition to all the other messages, you're going to be learning how to take care of yourself, how to be more nurturing for yourself. Um, and for some of you, I think it's an important message that not everything has to be on your shoulders, okay? You do not need to be perfect. You do not have to kill the spider if you don't want to kill the spider. Nobody likes doing that, okay? It doesn't make you less of a man if you don't want to kill the spider, okay? It's fine. <laughs> but you're going to be exploring that. Um, and yet for others of you, finding your strength and power through the Divine Feminine. But she's also about... She's associated with the moon. I'm feeling that. The moon intuition, weirdly, so is Gabriel. Very intuitive type of week for you. Developing this intuition. I think high priestess. It's it's very that. Um, she also, I've been wanting to get to this one. She's about hormonal balance. Yeah. So if you're dealing with something right now, get with a doctor. Okay. Make, don't, don't skip the doctor. Okay. <laughs> get to the doctor. But spiritually speaking, she can help you with balancing that out. And if you're watching this and you think that hormonal balance has to just do with women, no. <laughs> Obviously, men have hormones too, balancing that out. But more than anything, I feel it's like cortisol. It's like she helps with stress. She helps you get to the bottom of what's really bothering you. She's amazing. She's amazing to work with. And think of like a full moon. You know, I typically say whenever I see an image of a full moon come up on one of the cards, that is the light in the dark. It's things that have been hidden now being illuminated. So illuminating the recesses of your mind, illuminating the shadows, right? Like just seeing what's there and being strong enough to handle it. That's the other thing she does as well. So let's get you extra cards here. King of Gabriel. <laughs> Look at that. Okay. <laughs> Generous, inspirational, dramatic, driven. Keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success. Genuine concern for others. Through this process that you're going through, whatever that looks like, this is asking you to not get hung up on the details. Now, that doesn't mean you just bumble through life and you're like, it'll all work out. It's fine. No, but <laughs> you need to give yourself a little space to not get hung up on the details. For example, do you know how many novels I've written? A few, okay? Do you know how many times I've edited those things? Do you know how much trouble I have putting that work out there? Why? Perfectionistic and focusing too much on the details. It's gross, okay? Like literally, I, <laughs> I will overthink one word. I shouldn't have revealed that about myself, but there you go. So this is a time of, you know, the king takes charge in a way. 
but takes charge not out of an ego pursuit to be super powerful, but rather I have all the tools. I've learned all the lessons. I'm ready to proceed on this. I'm ready to, you know, even if it's not perfect, let, let the project be what it's going to be. Let the relationship be what it's going to be, right? Let, let whatever needs to unfold, let it happen. All right. And again, your intuition is going to be on fire this week. So we have two of Ariel for you as well. It's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. This is part of what I think you're taking charge of. I think you know you are working way too hard. Your life, remember I said, Haniel's about hormonal balance, but she's about balancing. Don't get yourself stressed out trying to make everything happen all at once. And I think that kind of amps up that message of focusing too much on the details and not allowing yourself to dream a little bit, right? <laughs> yeah, getting caught up in the what ifs, caught up in the what ifs. The magician, see, when you release yourself from this, things start to flow, your dreams become reality. You can bring them into the 3D world in a way that is appropriate for the 3D world. So number is one, you need to take accountability. You need to take charge. It's you. Right, so the two can be like, okay, that's two people maybe, a little bit of help. But no, this is like, I'm, I'm gonna stop deferring to other people. Now, if you have had a lot of trauma, if you have a, a past where you suffered a lot of abuse, you may have, and I do this all the time, I defer to people's opinions because I was always taught that my opinions were wrong. I was always taught that I don't know anything. And even though I know better, <laughs> now it's still so deeply wired within me that I'll collect up a lot of opinions before I move on or make a decision. I can even get sort of paralysis around making a move, making a decision. So if you can relate to that, there you go. This is the kind of thing that you're breaking free from. So this is the magician Archangel Raziel. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. I'm telling you guys, this is a good time for you. It's very freeing, but I also want to say that this is very peaceful in how you approach this, okay? So now we're going to move on to the bright yellow people. <laughs> so just like last week, yellow is often associated with Archangel Jophiel, finding beauty. We'll talk about it here in just a second, but you know, Jophiel, the crown chakra. So if you actually watched last week's video and you felt attracted to that color yellow that solar plexus it's finding your strength i guess in that sense because it's the solar plexus you could also be working with archangel uriel archangel michael to help you find who you are it goes beyond courage and and all of that it's authenticity it's how you exude your energy through this physical being right that is you the character you're playing in this timeline how does that get put out into the world? What sort of contribution is that making? And how can you make it more beautiful? Okay. Now, this is strength 11. That's all about ascension. Archangel Ariel. Strength and grace through kindness, self-confidence, forgiveness. You're saying, you know what? I, I can't dwell on the things that have hurt me. I'm going to be grounded. I'm going to detoxify from that. I have an ascension process I came here to do. And maybe for you, that ascension process has very little to do with what other people would define as success. Matter of fact, some of those things could pull you off path. I've seen plenty of really good people get taken by darker entities and then start going down a path that they have a hard time recovering from. All right, so we have the emperor here. <laughs> and the number's four, stability. This might be around your home as well but this is again this energy of I'm not allowing myself to be trampled on anymore now let's not get ridiculous I love telling this story it's a cautionary tale I had someone I knew who she never set boundaries she never set boundaries and then one day she goes off on someone <laughs> who was not trying anything with her just letting her know what the hours were for this establishment and she felt like they should open the door for her. And she just went off on them. And then she came back to me. Huh? She came back to me to report back proudly that she had told this guy off. And I was like, yeah, I think you were in the wrong. I'm sorry, but um, why are you proud of that? 
that's not what we're talking about here, okay? We're not talking about like suddenly turning on and, and emulating unhealthy people, right? People who like have outbursts and they get into a rage, like that's not power. That's not power, yes? The emperor is teaching you what real power is. Archangel Uriel, here he is, okay? Stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. My left hand is all shaking. I don't know why. It's just my left hand. Okay. I did have two cups of coffee. Maybe I'm short circuiting over here. Sorry. Anyway, the emperor is helping you find your strength and helping you figure out a way forward, helping you figure out what you really want to craft for your life here. This feels because the strength card is there too with the emperor. This feels like needing strength or gaining the strength to find pleasure in the little things, right? So I'm thinking of like the person who is like the Wall Street person, the hedge fund person who says, you know what, I'm gonna move away from the city. I like making furniture out of wood, okay? Like that's my, my craft and that's what I do. So I'm gonna leave this and go do that. And, and realizing that their life is so much better for it, okay? So again, it'll be different for everybody. King of Ariel, successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. There's that word stable again. Four is stable. Strength is helping you get stable. The emperor knows what stability is. It's going to be a big theme for you. Stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Using resources wisely. So, oh, I guess you would want to see it before I set it down, right? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so again, for you guys, this is a big thing of finding a very stable direction and finding enjoyment in that stability. So if you are somebody who classically, you know, just was always a, sort of an ungrounded artist, yes, or you're one of those spiritual practitioners that's not very grounded and you're just hoping that you can make a living off of your art, I, I all love and respect. I'm an artist too. That sounded really weird. That's not a weird to say out loud. I'm into the arts too, is what I meant. Um, and this world doesn't always appreciate that. That's why writers have a very hard time making a living off their writing, right? Or the only way that they do make a living off their writing is if they're contributing it to like a corporate environment. But this is helping you realize like, I don't have to just, you know, I don't wanna say this, rebel against the system. I don't, I don't have to, but I can find balance in this. I can find the beauty in having like, maybe, maybe it's a day job for some of you, a day job while I do my art and, and being able to not stress about money and not have to feel like um, something's going to be taken away for some of you if you don't have a roof over your head. You know, maybe you're staying with family or friends. This is your time that you're figuring out a plan and a way to take care of yourself. All right, so we're going to move on to the, the bright, well, I said, I think I said deep pink, like a bright, deep pink. That is Archangel Ariel. Ariel is associated with nature. She's associated with, if you are into the fairy realm, she can be associated with that as well. I think a lot of people make that conclusion. I don't really think of it like that, but do whatever you're going to do. <laughs> but she's about nature, groundedness, detoxification, manifestation into the material world. So she's often associated with the root chakra, sense of safety, feeling safe within your own skin, okay? So for some of you, if you are having a hard time feeling grounded, feeling safe, if you, especially for some of you who chose this, you've gotten into spiritual escapism. You're trying to hide behind your spirituality. This is where we get people who are... <laughs> literally out there screaming and hollering and whatever, you know, just having a bad attitude about everything. And they think they're above everything and above everyone. And then they turn on the camera and they're like, I'm just here meditating, being at peace. <laughs> and then as soon as the camera goes off, yeah, you got those. Those people are out there. All right. Don't be that person. Cool? Cool. All right. King of Michael, principled, rational, ambitious, respected. There's a lot in all of these cards that have to do with stability, success, finding your way, finding your strength, being ambitious. Uh, okay, wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity, a situation that calls for op 
blah, blah, blah. honest and open communication. So you're again, it's this whole thing. Go back and watch the basis of your reading, right? That's the first part of this. I, I definitely am hearing not taking it anymore, but not in the way of having an outburst, not in the way of like rebelling. This is very grounded, stable, uh, powerful. And it, it's almost like, I don't know. You get so solid that you're not really emotionally moved. <laughs> Michael is very, can be associated with being very cerebral, clear thinking, seeing things for what they are, cutting through the nonsense. So whatever situation is going on, you're getting clarity and there's some power in that. And I don't mean power in the ego sense. I mean, in the spiritual sense of like, oh, I see the wisdom in this. Okay, now I can be open to more love and compassion, even if someone is acting out towards us, right? So it gets into a complicated message, I guess. But Queen of Raphael, kind, understanding, giving, psychic. Follow your heart. A love of home and family. Trustworthy psychic information. That's the other theme that's been going on here. So you're getting some sort of download here, what we call a download, where there's a sudden epiphany. There's a sudden revelation. Watch the week, the the weekly watch the beginning of this weekly is what I meant to say you know that's kind of going along with this where it's like okay I can harmonize and balance the masculine and feminine aspects here and this is a lot of self-care so some of you might actually go you know what I need a spiritual retreat now be careful who you're going to and all that some of you are really disconnecting I think from dare I say the material world even though Ariel who is helping you with all of this. She's the first part of your message here, just the color that you chose. She is about manifesting things into the physical realm and having the material things that you would need to get along in this life. But somehow the approach is coming from a very beautifully balanced, powerful place. All right, then we have the wheel. The number is 10. You're done with the old way. You're starting something new. Archangel Jeremiah, he's all about life review. New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. There's a lot of movement occurring for many, many people this week where the old way just isn't the way anymore. And giving yourself a chance to open your heart and experience joy. I, I bet if you sat here and asked yourself, when was the last time I was excited about something? When was the last time I wasn't afraid? Oh my gosh, I just got chills asking that of you. Like sit, sit and think about that for yourself. If you care to comment below, by all means, go ahead. But when was the last time you weren't afraid? When was the last time you felt safe? For some of you, you may never have ever felt safe in your life. If you didn't grow up in a family that was loving and nurturing and protective. Some of you, you might say, for years, we went through a collective trauma. For years, literally for years, and experiencing loss through that in, on many, in many ways and on many levels. So have you recovered from that? I know I haven't. I'm still trying to find my way back from all that happened a few years ago. So be honest with yourself. That's Michael too. Michael is all about honesty and helping you find the strength to see things for what they are and not what you want them to be. Okay, and then the queen energy, the queen of Raphael energy comes through, right? That was queen of Raphael. Now I'm doubting myself. See, yeah, queen of Raphael, <laughs> uh, you know, that energy comes through and that's a huge heart opening moment. That's where that compassion comes through. That's where that joy is where like, if you're just running, I just did this this morning. I ran an errand and the weather could not be more gorgeous. And so I opened up, I've got a little moon roof in my car. I opened up the top of my car, rolled down my windows, went, drove to the park and just drove around and just enjoyed, you know, just enjoyed the wind and seeing the blue sky and feeling the temperature. Like it was just perfect. It was absolutely perfect. So allow yourself to have those little moments to decompress. And if it feels like a spontaneous thing, like the example I just gave, I was just driving home and I was like, I'm not ready to go home yet. It's too pretty out. I gotta. I don't want to be like in the house. Like I want to. I want to keep going. You know, allow yourself that space. Okay. So we're gonna leave it there. You know what to do if you want a personal reading. Angelsouls444.com. Leave your comments down below, and I'm sending you all so much love. Take care. Bye bye.